Just when you thought you were the best and everything is in the palm of your hands, but hours after, the police would be looking for you. That's exactly what happened to the UFC light heavyweight champ, John Jones. Let's take a closer look at it. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. For this video, we'll be talking about how John Jones was arrested hours after receiving a Hall of Fame award. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're new, and click that notification bell below so you don't miss any of our videos. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into the video. Former UFC light heavyweight champion John Jones was arrested Friday morning just hours after being inducted into the UFC Hall of Fame in Las Vegas. The Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department detained Jones around 5.45 a.m. local time on two charges, misdemeanor battery domestic violence and felony harming and interfering with a vehicle. A department spokesperson confirmed the MMA junkie following an original report by ESPN. Further details of Jones's arrest are unknown at this time, but through the MMA junkie has submitted requests for a police report and more information. According to Clark County Jail Reports, Jones was in custody and scheduled to appear in court for the first time. Jones stated on Friday that he was in one of the finest moods of his career while chatting to reporters, including MMA Junkie. Before the induction of his UFC 165 battle against Alexander Gustafsson, Jones said his training program was more consistent than ever before his planned 2022 heavyweight debut and his first UFC media appearance in months. Right now, for the first time in my whole career, I'm actually training consistently, Jones said. I feel in better shape than I am now than ever before. I'm sleeping better, I'm eating better, I'm drinking less alcohol, and I feel really good. Jones has had his fair share of run-ins with authorities. In 2012, he escaped jail time on a misdemeanor DWI arrested stemming from a collision with a utility pole in upstate New York. The UFC light heavyweight champion was fined $1,000 and had his license suspended for six months today. In addition, he will have ignition interlocks installed on his vehicle, and he will be required to complete a victim impact panel. Jones' second significant incident occurred in April 2015, when he was involved with a hit and run that resulted in a pregnant woman's fractured arm and resulted in him losing his UFC belt. Jones was fined $25,000 for the failed test, and the UFC applauded Jones' choice to enter a drug treatment center. According to the fighter's mother, that stay lasted only one night. Jones avoided jail time, but he was sentenced to 18 months of supervised prohibition and required to perform 72 charity or youth outreach events. He finished the job, but in March 2016, he was involved in a highly publicized traffic stop during which he engaged in a verbal spat with an Albuquerque, New Mexico police officer after being accused of drag racing. Video released by the police shows that Jones in a verbal confrontation with the police officer that pulled him over near downtown Albuquerque at 11.46 p.m. During a pair of exchanges, the former UFC light heavyweight champion called the officer a liar and a pig and denied drag racing. Jones again denied he was drag racing and said his emotions got the best of him. I definitely wasn't drag racing, he said. I got emotional and said some things that I probably shouldn't have to the police officer. In September 2019, Jones took a plea deal to a violence charge reportedly slapping, choking, kissing, and touching a waitress at a strip club after she requested him stop. Jones received a 90-day deferred sentence, according to ESPN, which cited court documents during which time he must avoid legal problems and cannot ingest alcohol or narcotics. Jones is also on unsupervised probation. It is not permitted to return to the strip club and he must pay court expenses. In the state of New Mexico, this is no contest plea. His no contest plea does not constitute an admission of guilt. In March 2020, Jones was arrested on allegations of driving under the influence, negligent use of a weapon, possession of an open container, and no proof of insurance at 4.43 a.m. local time in his hometown of Albuquerque. According to a KOAT Action News 7, Local police officers arrived at 3rd and Central Avenues in Albuquerque shortly after 1 a.m. After gunshots were heard, officers allegedly discovered Jones inside a running vehicle. Jones allegedly denied any knowledge of gunfire. According to the report, Jones allegedly told responding officers that he had been driving and planned to do so for the near future. According to the statement from one of the arresting officers, Jones did poorly on the breathalyzer test. Following that, 
Police allegedly discovered that a black revolver and a 750 milliliter bottle of Ricardo Mazelka in the vehicle. Jones was taken into custody. Jones currently does not have a fight scheduled. Although his relationship with the UFC has been strained in recent months, Jones expressed optimism that the two parties would reach an agreement for his heavyweight debut in the second quarter of 2022 at UFC 247. In February 2020, he won a unanimous decision over Dominique Reyes. Later in participation for his switch to heavyweight, he vacated his light heavyweight championship. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any of our future content that we'll make for you all. We're signing off for now, but be sure to catch you all in the next one.